In the book of Mark, Jesus talks about a time of trouble called the Great Tribulation. He warns his followers that before the end of the world comes, things will get really tough. Jesus gives them signs to look out for so they can be ready. One sign Jesus mentions is false prophets. In the book of Mark, Jesus warns about false prophets in Mark 13, 23. He says, for false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect. But be on guard, I have told you all things beforehand. This passage is part of Jesus' discourse on the signs of the end times and the coming of the Son of Man. He cautions his disciples to beware of false messiahs and prophets who will try to deceive people with miraculous signs. Jesus emphasizes the importance of discernment and vigilance in recognizing and resisting false teachings and deceptions. These are people who pretend to speak for God, but actually lead others away from the truth. Jesus tells his followers to be careful not to be fooled by these false prophets. Another sign Jesus talks about is wars and conflicts. He says there will be fighting and violence all over the world. This will make people scared and worried about what will happen next. Jesus also mentions natural disasters like earthquakes, famines, and diseases. These disasters will cause a lot of destruction and suffering for many people. They will leave people feeling hopeless and helpless. Persecution is another thing Jesus warns about. He says that believers will face a position and mistreatment because of their faith. They will be treated badly and even hurt because they follow Jesus. During the Great Tribulation, life will be really hard for everyone, especially for believers. There will be chaos and confusion everywhere as people try to make sense of what's happening. Many will feel scared and alone, wondering if things will ever get better. But even in the midst of all this trouble, Jesus offers hope. He promises to be with his followers always, giving them strength and courage to face whatever comes their way. He tells them to trust in God and not to be afraid because he has overcome the world. John 16:33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So what can Christians learn from the Great Tribulation? Firstly, they can learn to be discerning and not believe everything they hear. They should test everything against the truth of God's word and not be swayed by false teachings. Secondly, they can learn to trust in God's promises even when things seem hopeless. Jesus promises to be with his followers always, no matter what they're going through. They can take comfort in knowing that God is in control and that he will never leave them or forsake them. Thirdly, they can learn to be prepared for difficult times ahead. Jesus warns his followers to watch out for the signs of the great tribulation so they can be ready when it comes. They should be vigilant and not be caught off guard by what's happening around them. Finally, they can learn to hold on to hope, even in the midst of suffering. Jesus promises that he will come back one day to make all things right. Christians can look forward to that day with confidence, knowing that their hope is secure in him. In conclusion, the Great Tribulation is a time of trouble and suffering that Jesus warns his followers about in the book of Mark. But even in the midst of all the chaos and confusion, Christians can find hope and strength in Jesus. They can learn to be discerning, trust in God's promises, be prepared for difficult times, and hold on to hope, knowing that their ultimate victory is secure in Him. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more engaging content like this.